Did you know that India received over $70 billion in the form of FDI inflows in financial year 2023? Why is India an attractive destination for foreign investment? This is exactly what we are going to understand in today's video. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Karnima and today we are going to read about why do foreign investors invest in India? And why is India an attractive destination for foreign investments? Tell me something. Why does any country or economy need foreign investments? When a government wants to do expenditure, capital expenditure or investment, they can either do it on their own or invite foreign investors or private investors. When they invite foreign investors or private investors, they get an opportunity of not just get their uh, technological know-how, but also the profit sharing opportunity between the two parties. So let's say the government wants to create road. They can either do it on their own or invite private players or foreign investors. When that happens, let's say after the toll collection, the profit that is generated will be divided among the foreign investors and the government also. Similarly, if a nuclear power plant is supposed to be set up and a government invites foreign investors, the electricity generated when sold in the market will generate profits. These profits can be divided between foreign investors and the government. That's how the, these investments, foreign investments, generate profits for the foreign investors. That's why any country would go for foreign investments. But why India? Why is India an attractive destination for foreign investors? One of the major reasons for that is young population, demographic dividend. Over 65% of India's population is below the age of 35 years. How does it affect foreign investments? When a foreign investor invests in India, they look at the future prospects of a country. And because of the young population in India, they have higher aspirations. Going forward, they will demand more from the economy. When they demand more, consumption increases. And when consumption increases, further investment increases. India provides a huge domestic market economy. This creates an in, uh, investment support for the foreign investors. For example, when Warren Buffet invested in Coke, everybody thought these are penny stocks and will not be profitable. However, it turned out to be one of the most profitable investment studied even today in case, in case studies. That's how foreign investments are done and the future prospects of a country are seen. Similarly, let's suppose today you and I, the young population, if we have a Realme phone tomorrow, we would want to shift to an iPhone. If you're using Dell laptops tomorrow, we would want to purchase MacBook Air. That's how the economy works. That's how you look at the future prospects of a nation. That's why India becomes an attractive destination because of the young population. This young population has higher aspirations. They will demand more and it gives more opportunities to foreign investors. Another reason why India is an attractive destination are the government policies. The policies that Indian government follows are pro-business policies. They always promote ease of doing business. Let's say the foreign direct investment policies or other logistics policies that the government creates. They're all done for ease of doing business. Yes, there are uh, policies shift, but these shift are to create an open economy, to create more competition and to facilitate FDIs in India. For example, during LPG reforms, India wanted to open up its economies, its shift towards globalization and privatization. From MRTP Act to Competition Commission of India Act, this created more competition. These kind of policies not just promote business opportunities in, in, uh, in India, but also attract foreign investments in India. Other reason is the economic stability. When I talk about economic stability, I am particular, particularly talking about inflation and the growth rate. There are various autonomous organizations working in India, which are working towards economic stability. For example, RBI. RBI inflation maintain karta hai India. Mein. Inflation of foreign investor ka kya connection hai? I'm not sure, but I think you've read about the Turkey example. Turkey may because of high inflation, because of wrong poli monetary policies, the Turkish lira plunged. It created higher borrowing cost for the government and further led to a debt crisis for that economy. This kind of a situation is highly unlikely in India because organizations like RBI are working towards maintaining economic stability. 
both monetary stability and also the stability of the foreign exchange. Whenever rupee appreciates or depre depreciates, RBI intervenes, which is beneficial for both importers and exporters and these investors as well. Similarly, SEBI. SEBI always works towards easing the restrictive policies of FDI. They always move towards creating such policies so that FDIs can be promoted in India. That is one of the reasons economic stability makes India an attractive destination for foreign investments. Let's not talk about the other reason that is diversified investment opportunities or destination. We all know major economies are shifting from China. They are trying to find better opportunities. We can take an example of Apple, constantly trying to shift its base from China to India. And yes, India and Vietnam, these are two countries in the Pacific, Asia Pacific region that are giving better opportunities to these foreign investors. A foreign investment coming from these huge countries like EU or uh, USA. Right? So, Vietnam and India are providing better opportunities. However, when it comes to the logistics, railways, opportunities that India is providing, it is more. India is not just giving cheap labor and the digital technology to these investors, but also various opportunities. For example, in Vietnam, recently there was an issue with the Samsung manufacturing plant. The economy majorly depends on hydroelectric, hydroelectricity for electricity generation. Now, because of a drought like situation, they could not provide electricity. And that is where India has an edge. Nahi logistics, but also, uh, you know, uh, other facilities like electricity are provided in India with ease. That's why India turns out to be a better opportunity for these investors who are shifting their base from China or other economies to these uncharted territories like Vietnam or India. <coughs> Another reason is technological advancement. The digital policies that are taken by the government, for example, Make in India or Digital India, they are working towards promoting foreign investment and also the digital or technological advancement. When any foreign investor invests in a startup, this startup can grow because the technological advancement also creates an opportunity for increase in productivity. For example, Boeing, from a small startup, it turned out to be one of the most technologically advanced companies ever today. That's why if any foreign investor today invests in a startup, going forward, because of technological advancement, unki productivity badegi. Productivity badegi, to nahi company grow karegi, but also unki investment grow karegi going forward. That's why technological advancement helps in increasing productivity and thus forms a profitable uh, investment opportunity for these foreign investors. See, we all know because of geopolitical tensions and because of shifting base from China to other countries, that is also one of the reasons India is becoming an uh, attractive destination for these foreign investors. I hope you understand all the reasons discussed today why India is an attractive destination. Thank you.